So I did the prompt on transcription of prokaryotes. So there's three steps to transcription of prokaryotes, uh, initiation, elongation, and termination. So this is just the overall structure before initiation begins. Things to keep in mind are the plus one nucleotide region. This is where transcription begins. The negative 10 and the negative 35 regions are both known as consensus sequences, which means the average of the nucleotides across multiple organisms are relatively the same. The negative 10 region is known as the TATA box because the first four uh, nucleotides are TATA. This uh, negative 35 region doesn't really have a special name for it, like this uh, negative 10. This whole region is known as the promoter region, the promoter box. This top strand, what's not being copied into RNA, is known as the coding strand. This bottom is known as the template strand, which is being copied into RNA. Two other things to keep in mind, uh, upstream refers to nucleotides prior to the plus one nucleotide, which is the stuff off to the left, and downstream would be after the plus one nucleotide, which is to the right. So to begin initiation, we have the core enzyme, which binds with the sigma factor. The sigma factor and the core enzyme together is known as the hollow enzyme, which the sigma factor helps it bind to the negative 35 and negative 10 region, get the RNA polyamorase in the correct place, the plus one, to begin uh, transcription. So I think of the sigma factor as a pair of glasses and the core enzyme as an old man trying to find a rope that will lead him into a dark tunnel. So the glasses are the sigma factor as he puts them on to help him find the rope as the hollow enzyme is able to find the correct place. And then, you know, the rope is sticking out of the tunnel, so it helps him get into the tunnel. And then once he gets into the tunnel, much like the sigma factor, the, he can take his glasses off because it's dark, obviously, so he doesn't need it anymore. So the RNA polyamorase doesn't need the sigma factor anymore to keep transcribing. So much like the man taking his glasses off, the sigma factor disassociates after about nine to 12 nucleotides because the RNA polyamorase just simply doesn't need it and the sigma factor is gonna get in the way. So here's uh, what elongation looks like with the transcription bubble. The RNA polyamorase is this circle on the outside. And uh, here's my five prime to three prime in and then three prime to five prime, my strain of RNA down here. Lastly, there's termination. There's two types of this. The first is row independent, so RNA reading this way. Uh, it's going to read these two, which are known as an inverted repeat, which means that the things that are coded are going to cause this hairpin formation. As you can see, these all bind together because uracil is the replacement for thymine in RNA. So these are all binding together, creating this hairpin. And after, after this, there's usually a strain of adenines, which codes the strain of uracil. These AU bonds are very weak, so this causes the DNA and the RNA strands to disassociate from each other, terminating transcription. Second, we have rho dependent, where this molecule called the rho, which is uh, responsible for some helicase activity, comes up here, binds between the DNA and the RNA, and just simply causes them to disassociate from each other. Uh, here's my references, our, our two professors. Uh, those two clip art picture uh, websites are right here, and all the drawings were done by me.